So I am back guys with a brand new video and sorry for a little break in videos. I think it's been about two days since my last upload. Um, I was away and also wasn't feeling too well. So um, that is the reason that I have not been uploading. But uh, I guess it's only two days. I just I'm so used to uploading every day and I hate when I miss it. Today we're going to be talking about some of the biggest topics in the art community from Unreal Engine 5.4, we've got some news from Dolly and also to all the other like events like Fear Ascended and stuff that's happening in the community. All of the most answered questions um, and stuff like that. So if you, if you do enjoy, make sure to smash that like and subscribe if you're new around here and let's dive into today's video. So yes, the last video I made was on Fear Ascended and it was actually quite a disappointing change of a day in the end on Friday um, because pretty much I made a video um, on the Friday saying this is going to be a very exciting event we're going to have something and it's still going to be by the way um, but Dolly put something in the discord saying that they were going to announce like something that's coming to um, uh, something that's coming to F Fear Ascended that we've never seen before and apparently this discord message was then later deleted um, and then it kind of went to having like a very very quiet community crunch we did get our date though um for fear ascended so let's just go through it all now so a quick summary of the community crunch and when i say quick it is very quick they just said welcome to another edition of the community crunch there's a lot going on behind the curtain at wildcard as we gear up for one of our favorite events this year of, well, of the year fear ascended and a court and, and and a cause that's close to our hearts at studio wildcard is extra life We've seen lots of excitement about Fear Ascended in the community, so let's jump straight in and share the date. Fear Ascended, so it says, the shadows are creeping closer. Fear Ascended is set to sink its claws into the arc from the 30th of October to the um, 13th of November, if I'm correct. Um, so yeah, the latest one we've ever had in the history of arc, unleash unleashing a dino-sized dose of eerie delights and primal frights. As the night closes in, get ready for a spooky season that's more bone-shaking than bone-breaking. Keep your ears to the ground, survivors. There's more lurking in the next community crunch. So, pretty much what I think happened is I think that they were um, preparing to um, get this event ready for us. And um, I think when Dolly said that there, you know, there was going to be a surprise reveal, I think that was actually going to be the initial plan. And I reckon it was a last-minute change. Um, maybe they even had a last minute change on the date and I actually have a reasoning in this video for you guys why um, this um, why this was the case um, so if we quickly jump in um, someone said how come you guys can't start the event earlier because the 30th of October is the latest they've ever ever done this um, because in the past I think the some of the events would have been on like the 18th and they would have normally finished sort of early November so it's been a crazy crazy um, early start there um in, in the past but whereas like the 30th is just like i've never seen it so early and i don't know what which i prefer whether i prefer it to start earlier in october or later in october i feel like i kind of prefer it earlier in october just because it like gets you to enjoy the thrill of that um but anyway dolly said um so when the question was asked how come you guys don't start the event earlier or can't um dolly says because we are very on a very tight dev pipeline with a huge amount of upcoming content and we are doing our best basically so by the looks of things it's what the reason for the delay is just because they do have so much coming up i mean when i look because there could always be things we don't know about it right but when we think about what's coming up um the the, t the two main things coming up is fear ascended there will be a turkey trial um as well in november they have extra life which isn't really content and then they've got extinction ascended with bob's tool tales part three in december with winter wonderland so i guess considering it's already sort of coming to the you know the like later point of october you know there's only two months to go now and it would probably be the worst thing in history if there was a delay for extinction like you know it's going to be like a christmas gift really for people and um you know uh that's uh that, that, that that's so, so i get it if they have to delay things um you know they as long as it's before halloween then i'm cool with it um so yeah um, next up guys, it's time to, oh yeah, um, one quick thing was, um, they said, uh, someone asked when, when's the rates come in and all that information is going to be coming in the next community crunch. 
So now it's time to talk Unreal Engine 5.4. So someone asked Dolly in the Discord, now by the way this has been the only information we have had on Unreal Engine 5.4 in such a long time. But someone pretty much went on to ask Dolly saying no words on UE 5.4 and Dolly said we'll have more, we'll, we'll have some info on that soon. And what worries me about that post is that the current ETA for Unreal Engine 5.4 is between October 15th and November 15th. And I'm very, very worried that that kind of not very hyped response, you know, and, you know, how quiet the devs have been, even we're in the, we're in within the, uh, um, we're in the timeline now, aren't we, between October 15th and November 15th, makes me feel like, you know, with Extinction of Bob's Tall Tales Part 3 around the corner, it's kind of like screaming at me that this is going to end up coming out in 2025. I really, really hope this is not the case. I, by the way, don't take that of a pinch of salt because right now what we've been told from Studio Wildcard is that this is happening October 15th to November 15th. But I just have that one worry. You know, I've always, you know, I'm sure there's people who are going to be watching this video who are the same as me that's been in the art community for a long time. And when when Studio Wildcard set themselves very, very tight deadlines, unreal, and the fact they're already sort of talking about it now, saying it's a very tight dev pipeline, and and there's you know there's been lack of information on it. It it tends to look to me that that's going to be at the end of the list. Um, and you know I think completing the season pass one of Bob's Tool Tales is probably higher on priority because at the end of the day the company also needs to make money right. And when they release Extinction Ascended, people whose favourite map was Extinction are going to come back to it and buy Bob's Tool Tales Part Three. And I think it's just more. Um, I think from what I've seen, is they've made four over four hundred thousand sales on Bob's Tool Tales since they've released it, which is actually actually a lot more than I would have thought, considering a lot of people call Ark a dead game. Um, which, by the way, Ark's been called a dead game for years. Um, it's you know four hundred thousand sales on a DLC, which we didn't even know about until March this year, right? Was it was it March this year or was it March? And I can't even remember. What, I think it was March. Is it March 24? Yeah, something like that. But um, considering it, it was literally sprung out of nowhere and, and it's not even a map, it's like a free remastered map with then paid content is pretty still incredible that Wildcard have sold that many. So they kind of have to look what's on the priority list. And unfortunately, guys, when there's something that comes out that makes money, that's just the what's going to get prioritized um, um unless it's something game breaking then um you know and and i'm really i really really do hope unreal engine 5.4 comes in time i think it would be absolutely amazing for the game the game needs it so badly and players respect you more right when when the game's running smoothly and the fact is is that when i look at when i look at unreal engine 5.4 and i think about how this could really 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 improve the game um, I think about that being more important than anything else because I think it leads to future better sales because players are going to be happy and are going to enjoy the performance better. And Unreal Engine, by the way, is constantly evolving and updating. So they need to get some form of the new version implemented into the game ASAP because it's constantly being updated. And once they've done that, then they can keep updating us in the future. Um, well, that's something I hope um, because Ark needs it. It's a huge game. It's got a lot of um, problems because it's such a big game. Um, and, you know, that's one of the things, you know, what Ark's been built on is why it's had problems and with it being one of the biggest games out there that's why it literally struggled to run so much back in the 2015 days because it was just such a uh, and i would say arc was early before its time you know um so anyway but that's the video um next week for fear ascended we will have um some big news we won't have a trailer because the, tra the usually wildcard do trailers um on launch day um but we should have information about the event um and that's it so thank you very much for watching as soon as i get unreal engine 5.4 information i'll let you guys know let's hope it's not going to be a delay let's hope it's still going to be this year thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in my next video